In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to double knit from the very beginning. I'm going to talk pretty quietly because the mic is really close to my mouth, so I hope you all can hear me. We're going to be casting on to two needles. This is going to ensure that we have enough space to do our setup row so that our cast on is nice and even, yet a little bit looser. This is a fun trick, especially if you have trouble with casting on too tight. We're going to make a slip knot, and I'm going to leave a long tail because I'm going to be doing a long tail cast on. A slip knot is make a loop, reach through your loop, and pull up another loop, and tighten. There's your slip knot. Put your slip knot on both of your needles held together, snug it up, and just hold them together like that. And we're going to begin casting on however many stitches we need to work our chart. For this example, we're going to be working this heart chart right here. There's an edge stitch, which we can work in garter stitch or plain. Basically, one square represents each stitch that we need for our project. So I'm going to cast on, this happens to have 24 uh, little squares. So I'm going to cast on 24 stitches loosely by using the two needles. Of course, when you do double knitting, you are using two colors but you're just going to start with one of the yarns, and it doesn't matter which one. I happen to be using the brighter of the two so that you can see it pretty easily on the video. Now I've got 24. We're going to take one of these needles out and use it to begin double knitting. We've cast on our stitches. We're getting ready to knit the first stitch. We're going to work it with both yarns, thus joining the new color as well. So take a loop leaving a six inch tail. Oops. Leaving a six inch tail. I'm going to take that loop and we're also going to make a loop with the color that's already attached. We're going to knit this first stitch with both yarns at the same time. Now they're both joined. Now this is going to be the setup row, and this is going to be the trickiest of the rows that you're going to have to do. So bear with me. About six people did it today, seven people did it today in a class that I taught, and they were all fine. You're going to be fine too. Go ahead and tension your yarns. If you happen to knit American style with the yarn in your right hand, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. Just to make sure that the yarn is doing the same thing that my yarn is doing. To begin, we're going to go to work this first stitch with our yarn in, in the back, because we're knitting, and we're going to knit just with one of the yarns. I'm going to go ahead and pick the light blue, just that one, and pull that one through. Now, stop. Before you take this stitch off, we're going to move our yarns to the front. Opa, that came off. There we go, moving our yarns to the front between the needles. Then we're going to purl this stitch with the opposite color. So inserting your needle, just picking one of the colors, the opposite that we already did, and passing it through, and taking the stitch off. Let me show you again. Put the yarns in the back, both of them. Knit by wrapping just one color. Now we need to do the same, we need to be consistent now, so I'm going to keep on doing the light blue. Pull that through. Without dropping the yarn, without dropping the stitch off the needle, move our yarns to the front and purl into the same stitch. Insert your needle, purl with the opposite color. 